Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's time for a review. Well, not yet, anyways, but I got this new figure, Blue Rose. SH Figure Arts. It cost me quite a bit of money, but it comes with four faces. This is what she looks like without this superhero costume. All these poses, let me show you. See, that's a pretty cool looking pose. There's another one. There's another one. Her eyes are winking. And there's a picture of her showing her butt. One thing I'm a little bit disappointed in is that they don't have the little Pepsi that comes with I thought it came with, with a Pepsi bottle so she could hold it up and advertise it. Well, actually... She's sponsored by Pepsi Next. I guess it's something in Japan. Superstar of the Hero World. Blue Rose. Sponsor logo. Yeah, I got it. I've already seen your butt. Face. Yeah, I got it. The poses are cool. That's real nice and all. So, can't get rough with this figure. So, it better not be touching me in spots it's not supposed to. Anyways... Choking aside, this looks pretty cool. I can't read a damn thing this says. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay, so this one, it does say her real name on here. And it's Blue Rose. This is where the stand is in. It's, you have to open this. Open up. See that? Some kind of fucking stand for it. Yep. Pretty damn simple to put together, right? It's gotta be. It has instructions. When I open the box, I'll show you. Alright, so I'm back. This is the instructions on how to remove the Fugan hands and put the hands you want. There's a couple hands. This is another one of those underwear shots. And you can change the holders and there's extra guns and then you got these tentacle things that go over her butt then you can change her face these are the instructions I can't understand a word none of it but it's got to be pretty simple right people okay so now you're gonna be able to see clear that's the face it's the open mouth face that's the closed mouth face, and that is the one with the wink with the open mouth. Yeah, this is other stuff, but the hands, they all fell out. They're all on the, on the damn towel. Here's the extra guns, and that's the thing that holds the guns in. You can replace that, which doesn't make any sense, does it? I don't know. Hello, what's going on? Anyways, let's show you my articulation. My elbows, they bend, hands rotate, and you can pop them off, but they're not so easy. And my neck, head on a ball joint can turn all the way almost. No, it can't. Anyways, my legs. Or hindered slightly. They can bend about that far out. Can't really go forward because of this skirt piece. Which I don't know who designed this. Anyways, that's pretty cool, right? Also, you can see everything. The tentacles are not on yet. I will show you that in a second. I will say this. This is really hard. So, I tried popping this hand off. And it took the whole thing off instead of just that. But I was able to replace this one so I could put the um, hand to hold the gun in. Now the tentacles I wasn't able to do because it stabs the hell out of you to try to even put it in. But anyways, sooner or later I'll get it in and you'll see pictures of me posing all over the place. I want to do that one that way. Anyways, yeah, the, the leg articulation, it bends at the knee, swivel, which is nice, I guess. Like a 
said. There's some changes. Bam! Wait a minute, wait a minute, this gun freezes people. Anyways, I tried changing the faces, but I can't figure out how to do it. I mean, I know how to take that piece off, but you get it. I'm going to bed. What the hell you doing? What the hell you doing? You ain't going to bed. There ain't no such thing. You don't go to bed in a piece of plastic. It don't happen like that. Stop this fucking ludicrous, ludicrous crap. Yo, 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 what's up? Anyways, this is another figure that's made by Bandai, but it's more metalish. It's shiny. Some guy with a skirt, yeah, the knee piece is missing because it kept falling off all the damn time. If you ever seen Saint Seiya Lost Cavalins, yeah, I'm a big Saint Seiya fan. This guy was my favorite character, well, him and one of the bad guys. But he's pretty cool. He's just like that one. Except for, he was a lot easier. You could change his face a lot easier. You could change his hair. Everything was so easy. Well, no, it wasn't that easy. I'm trying to put that skirt piece together because it's not connected all together. You had to put it together yourself. So that was a pain. I know I'm reviewing the Blue Rose. But I wanted to show you I had something similar to it. So this is why I don't buy these type of figures. Is because not only are they expensive, and this cost me 60 freaking bucks, probably 65, something like that. It's the most expensive figure I ever purchased. And, um, let's put these two together. Damn, she is freaking small for me compared to him. This is good, though. Don't worry, people. It's fine. Anyways, all in all, this figure looks just like the character. The look, find the... There's some movement in the... Not the chest, but the top piece, you can tell. There's some articulation. You can do a lot of poses, which is really cool. That's what you want to do. You want to put Blue Rose with all your other Tiger and Bunny figures or figures like this from Saint Seiya, some kind of anime that you may or may not like. So that's about it, really, people. All in all, I give this figure a positive review. I think it's really good. It's hard to do some of the stuff like changing the face and the hands and all the other stuff and the tentacles in the back are a little bit hard, but over time, I'll get used to it. It's not supposed to be that freaking easy, I guess. Well, that's it, people. Have a good day. And go to Woggle Doggle Dad Gum. No, no, don't do that. Go to my Facebook page or my Twitter. Sinister Siren. You know my name. Give a side. Goodbye.